What's going on, Screaming Eagles? It's Jet Eagle 101 here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In our last video, we were helping out a Native American named Nassus. Nassus, if I pronounced it right, and the professor with Dougal to help us try to find Dutch and everything. And Dutch kind of got the jump on us, and then we went to go help our government friends to deal of Dutch who's holding up a bank manager and we, we deal with him but then we lost him so with that we are going to continue our story but before we do that I just want to remind you guys if you like the game so far hit that like button if you got something to say about it hit down in the comment section want to be part of the screaming eagles for more exclusive content hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jet Eagle 101 all right so let's see there we go. For a purely scientific scientific purpose. Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The Redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlind and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! This guy is certainly a quack. I'll tell you that. Where the devil is Nastas? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Now, I tell you, repent. There they are. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Hmm. What? How? How did I break the law? That was weird. I don't know how I broke the law. Follow me. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. G -g -g quick, man, quick. Okay. Calm down, McDougal. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Yeah. Come on. Let's see. This is it. Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. This professor's a little quack quacky sometimes. In a funny state. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. The <laughs> touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Whoa! A bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Watch it! I say we leave before any of its friends turn up. Come on. My goodness, I'm still shaking. What a ferocious animal. That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. 
all very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir... This is it. All right, all right. Don't look a very friendly bunch, do they? <laughs> Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Okay. Wait, weren't we just here? Like in our last mission? <laughs> There's a lot of natives here. Gotta be careful. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men mm. like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What do he say, Sebastian? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it. No! Professor, get down now! Quiet! They killed the son! This is a nightmare! Do something quick! Just keep your head down! You fucked it, man! I Whatever you do, please don't leave me in here! I've had about enough of field work for today! Time to return home, sir! I don't know about you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. Yes, let's get out of this hell hole and back to civilization! Okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah! Come on! We should move quickly! There's plenty more where they came My from! My god, I feel terrible! My head is pounding! Getting shot at will do that to you! I'm completely drained! It's like my body has aged ten years! Stop moaning and ride! Come on, I don't have time for this. Come on, come on! Come! Giddy up! Oh boy, McDougal. Well, we lost a good friend. We lost Nastus. Was it now? I thought it was going rather good. meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Yeah, get some rest. That was enough excitement for you. Well, I guess I gotta go see him again. Hello? But, wait a minute, something's not right. 6 p.m. this time. What time is it now? Ah, it's only four. 
Hmm. Yeah, the best way I think I can do this. Maybe if I go to sleep for a few hours, that could help me. Maybe that will help. past that point, but it's all good now. Alright, let's go see McDougal again. Uh, yeah, run, 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 run. The prodigal son returns to Yale. <laughs> okay. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> Nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, professor? Mm. Dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> We're fighting for something uh, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> yes. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Oh, good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Ah! Hmm. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Okay. That's how we get to the roof. Something. He's going to kill me! One more move, and he's a dead man. As the buzzer flies. God, you took your sweet time! Well, I'm sorry. Christ alive, how many are there? We're completely surrounded. One too many. 
Ouch, quit shooting me. guys over there. I can't believe it! They're still chasing us! What are we doing? We're gonna leave this in a box! Come on! It's alright. Ugh. Just spinning around and coming back. Research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Best of luck to you, quack. You crazy, crazy quack. So long, Professor. So long, sir. A hundred bucks for my trouble. All right. Now, I just gotta run back to Agent Ross. Oh boy, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Oop, I passed somebody. Oh well. Um, I'll live. Yes, and my progress again. <laughs> Save my progress. Yes. There we go. We're all good to go now. There's that horse of mine. All right, come on, girl. All right. <clears throat> and you will kill know the truth. Hmm. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. We, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Mm-hmm. Will you help us? 
Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. I guess we shall. Okay, I guess I'm climbing in the back of a truck that has a maximum maximum machine gun. Let's, go. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Come quick! Take a look at this thing! Have you seen this? He's got a gun on the back! Oh my lord day! I never seen such a they told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh my god, what kind of armor is that? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. We'll see about that. Here they come! Look, they brought the machine gun! I didn't even go that far! I'm here in the army. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Mm-hmm. Where is I'll ever be? Oh. Keep your eyes peeled. Alright. I got my eyes peeled. But I don't see much. Targets on the horizon! Fire at will! That's enough! This ends now! Take them early! We should have done this a long time ago! Take them down! I got him, I got him, I got him. You'll pay for this! Ow! How many bastards are there? One too many! What is it with these people? Look, they're running! Move out! Don't let them get away! I'm gonna try to run them over. Christ, this thing's a lot bumpier off the road. It's gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. Mm hmm. This is insanity. I can hardly hold on. Just shut up and drive, Fordham. Get those men behind the rocks. We'll kill every last one of you! It is here! Getting 
Truth will set you free. Okay. Oh boy. This one. <laughs> well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to a student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mount up, man. Let's move out. Actually, we're not going to mount up on this one, so we're actually going to end the video from right here because we are already exceeding our point. I don't want to go any more further right now. So we're going to end the video from right here. I all hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you get something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jed Eagle 101 Have a good one.